Hello everyone, my name is JJ Moo to you, so shash gamers everybody and now we're gonna give you Viking season four B. It's the second half of Vikings of season four is officially ended. Season five will come out next year. This is my own review for season four B because we had they unleashed the first ten episodes and they made it onto Blu-ray and DVD, which I have right here. And I'm not gonna judge this season. Usually all the Viking seasons I judge based on the first ten episodes, but this is the first season we're splitting up twenty. So, Season 4A and Season 4B are completely, two, to me, two different seasons. 4A, this really should be called Vikings Season 5, but we're going to go with 4A. So, 4A, uh, let's just say well, previously what happened in this one. The Fall of Ragnar Lothbrok. I gave this uh, a dang a a TV Season uh, B. This is my least favorite season of Vikings, Season uh, 4A, because that dealt with Rolo in Paris the courtship of Paris. Um, the, the greatest thing about the season was the tremendous, uh, great depth that they did for England with Ed Burke's character with Ate the Wolf with Judith. That was there, but with Ragnar, it was mostly about him blaming Loki for killing Athelstan and then um for freaking um him falling uh, not falling for a girl but going on his drill drug thing and then introducing new characters uh, to the show and it was really just like a fall from grace for Ragnar Lothbrok. He just really wanted to die. This season is all about the exploration of his sons. Ragnar is back from uh, uh, his long journey of exile. He's home. He has his his children all grew up without him. Bjorn has his uh, wife now. He has a couple kids. <clears throat> and uh, this season is really just about Ragnar just saying goodbye to everybody for all his past mistakes. To his wife Lagatha, to Floki admitting that he still loves him, um, to As uh, Aslog for... Forgive him for every single thing, bad thing he's done, and thanks for not turning our sons against me. Um, his relationship with his sons, uh, especially Ivar, was really special. We get to see how each of these characters are different. Sigurd, uh, Ube, which has turned into one of my favorites, and Ivar. All interesting characters, and there's one other guy's name, but I can't pronounce his name, name of um, Ragnar's sons. But this is all about going to the New Age, interlocking with how the Old Age and the New Age has come along as the New Age of Vikings. This season all was about Ragnar just dying and his death and the vengeance of his death. Do we get this this season? Absolutely. I gave the season a 9 out of 10. So, season uh, for A, I gave it a B uh, or 8.6 out of 10. I enjoyed the season. Not my favorite season, though. But, Viking season for A is to me an 8 minus season. I just thought this season was fantastic with the relationship between the old age and the new age between Ragnar and his sons. I just really loved his relationship with King Egbert. My favorite episode is not even the death of Ragnar. It's actually the one beforehand when him and Egbert, the King of England, are talking about um, philosophies, um, about culture, about God, about what they mean to each other, what the outs at the stand mean to them, and overall, which is a compelling storyline for all these uh, characters and to see the old age go away. And the battle scenes were not as much as they were, but overall, still entertaining fight scenes. Um, loved it, and it was mostly a storytelling art. It was not like an action-packed season, like season 3 or or season 4A. This just had a great blend to it, and there was a great mix. And I just really, really did enjoy this. Do now, certain things. The Paris storyline, I we didn't really need to see Rolo again this soon. We really didn't, in my opinion. Um, this was all about Ragnar and Katika and his journey to England. Um, I say both shows worked well, but I say England had its strongest point in 4A. But 4B, I'm going to give a solid um, 9 out of 10, uh, A minus uh, season. It was just simply a phenomenal season. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Ragnar. I liked the new characters that are coming along, except certain things I did not like. Bjorn falling for his mother's lover. Um, certain things with um, King Harold and his brother. I liked the revelation, but to how they tried to take over Lagatha's land with a. Uh, a person that they used beforehand it was not that interesting i believe they used that story up way too fast but overall that's my personal opinion of viking season 4b i'm gonna give it a a out of 10 i mean a 9 out of 10 but it's a, a, a minus season for me so everyone viking season 4b pretty dang awesome season of vikings i enjoy i cannot wait till the next season to see how this new age of vikings how the show will go on without ragnar lothbrook and we also see also with Loki how he's probably going to deal with certain stuff now that he's older and he's probably last the last of the old age compared to 
Rolo, Floki, and um, Nakata. I do not believe we're going to see um, Rolo again for Season 5. I don't think so, not really. But overall, I'm just very interested to see where these characters go, what's going to change for Vikings, and what will happen. And ultimately, I would like to see Ivar really go head to head in battle and to really just go all out. We didn't really get to see that at this thing because obviously he's a cripple, but overall, I would love to see it. But um, I have to say Vikings Season eh, 4B was a definitely better season than Vikings Season 4A. But, so yeah. Again, 9 out of 10. So, subscribe if you like. This screen on the bottom. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. Respect my opinion. I respect yours. Let me know what y'all think, everyone, of this season 4B. Did you like it better than 4A? Uh, did you like this better than the previous Viking season? Where do you rank this upon all your Viking seasons? I will not count this season with season 4 just because there are two different sides. Season uh, 4 was all about the... Uh, season 4, the beginning part, part A, was all about Ragnar just... Like wanting to die and old grudges selling the past and ultimately come to the fight against Rolo. In season 4B, it's all about getting rid of the old and in with the new. And that's what I liked about season 4B a lot. But um, Viking season 4B, what can I say about it? Fantastic season. Alright, everyone, I'm Jaleese, Tony Garfield, everybody. Bye-bye.